Philosopher William Lane Craig says evolution is biblical. Darwinism has nothing to say about whether or not there's a God uh, or whether or not he created the universe. There's nothing wrong with evolution. Theologically, the evolutionary biology is theologically neutral. It just doesn't speak to those issues. So how does Craig conclude all these things? How does he know these things? Well, Craig uses a simplistic version of evolution. All it says is that we have these genes that mutate uh, without a view toward the benefit they confer on the host organism, and that those mutations that are deleterious uh, cause those organisms not to reproduce, but to get weeded out and to die off. Uh, and that's all. And therefore, organisms change over time as the environmental conditions and pressures change. And that's it. This is not accurate. First, Craig's simplistic rendering is dwarfed by the various explanations and causes hypothesized by evolutionists. But second, Craig completely misses the theology, and it is pervasive. The theology can influence class grades, letters of recommendation, admission, graduation, appointments, publishing, what is allowed to be published in a research paper and what is not allowed, and the general research and academic culture. The causes, the causes that are allowed to be hypothesized for evolutionary theory and the, the allowed explanations, the theology impacts all of those. The harsh treatment of Lamarck and Lamarckians in the 19th and 20th centuries, for example, and Darwin's origin and the later apologetics literature, all of that was rife with theology. The theology is very influential, and Craig didn't mention it at all. Evolution does not neatly decouple from its theology. Finally, Craig misunderstands criticism of evolution. Awesome. Now, I've heard this specifically that Darwinian evolution is counter to Christianity. Do you think that's true? No, I think that's completely false, Cynthia, uh, and based on a misunderstanding. The reason that some people or theists or Christians reject uh, Darwinian evolution is because these mutations in our genes that I spoke of are said to be random. And these theists or Christians rightly point out, it, it's not random. It's under the providential control of God. God directs the evolutionary process. But this is based upon a misunderstanding of what evolutionary theorists mean by random. Again, this is just not accurate. The critical literature is much more substantial than he suggests. You can see, for example, some of my papers down below in the description section. You can also see my previous video on why evolution is anti-biblical. Religion drives science, and it matters.